Hello dear friends, I have been thinking a lot uh, how to recover silver from silver contacts. Um, if we get lucky, sometimes uh, some silver contacts are uh, all the way uh, nice and clean and uh, pure silver, but quite often uh, they are just uh, silver plated on a copper uh, core and uh, that's the issue and people usually use chemicals or uh, melt them and still use chemicals or whatever they do and um, I think that one method actually might work I haven't tried that yet and I haven't seen any videos on YouTube uh, from that method that is circling on my head, in my head, sorry. Um, as you see down here, I have these uh, fuses, uh, 16 amps. Uh, 63 amps and uh, 10 amps. Uh, here you can see these uh, contacts here are uh, silver plated, and I filed off all the way 360 that uh, silver. And here is the powder you can see. It's a uh, mostly copper, but at this point it doesn't matter. And yeah, here is how does it look from inside. It uh, also contains uh, some kind of uh, uh, white powder. Is it uh, sand or glass or something, you know? Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna file all those left over five contacts here and let's see how much uh, this uh, filings or powder or whatever it's called, how much we can get. And how I'm trying to get that silver out is really simple. And uh, all that powder that I'm gonna get, I will put it in a vinegar and a salt mixture. The reason why I'm doing this is uh, vinegar eats copper away. Copper goes into the solution and uh, hopefully we are ending with uh, silver, silver powder after we filter it out of course but uh, I don't know basically anything about chemistry or stuff but what I do know if I file those uh, materials there's gonna be a lot of uh, surface area. Uh, I don't wanna pour that powder all at once in it, but uh, slightly adding and adding. Uh, I don't wanna make any uh, rapid reactions. Uh, uh, and uh, hopefully, because there is a lot of uh, surface area now, all that copper is clean and there is no dirt or uh, stuff on it, uh, we can get some kind of uh, results uh, much faster than the uh, previous series that I did with the uh, cold fingers and uh, I hope everything turns out good and uh, maybe, just maybe we don't have to uh, cut or uh, figure out how to get that uh, silver off from those uh, uh, silver contacts where the copper is the base and silver is, you know, plated on or what, whatever it is. And yeah, we can then just take those uh, silver buttons and uh, file it just like that. Uh, yeah, it's a mixture with the copper, but uh, if vinegar can eat it, 
leaving uh, silver behind. I think that's good for us, right? Okay, I'm gonna speed up the video, I'm gonna fight all those things and uh, let's see how much powder we can get. Okay, uh, turned out that only one of that uh, fuels uh, has actually uh, copper, copper on it and the other ones looks like they do have a silver coating but that silver is on uh, brass and I don't want to brass in here. It maybe I contaminated a little bit but it's okay because I don't know what uh, vinegar does to a brass so but anyway we have a little bit stuff here to uh, start with and uh, here I have nice clean uh, jar I'm gonna put about 250 milliliters of uh, it, this is a 30 percent vinegar as you can see about 250 milligrams more like so and this is a mineral salt but uh, it will do the job I believe And uh, one teaspoon. All right. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay. And now let's take this powder. Gonna fold it like this and let's see what happens. circling around there is a surface tension issues as it looks like but let's see if we can mix it oh yes we can yep now it looks good 
So there's a really really tiny amount But it's I believe enough if something happens that liquid uh, should turn greenish bluish or something like that and if we are lucky we are ending up with the pure silver at least that's what I'm thinking and hoping what's gonna happen and I'm gonna place it to a somewhere warm place to a little bit accelerate the process and uh, if there is any changes with that solution over here I will make the video I will make the video fast and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works. I'm not sure, but let's see what happens. Maybe it help us, helps us a lot if we don't have to cut those silver contacts and silver buttons off from those uh, fingers. Yeah, and I have few things in my mind with uh, IC chips how to leave about 90% those uh, IC chips behind and extracting only about 10% that uh, IC chip with all the gold inside. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a video quite soon about that and for now Thank you for watching and wish me a luck that hopefully it works. Bye.